Up to some extent, cloud has changed the mindset of companies where companies are now willing to upload their data to the public cloud and even banks, insurances, healthcare, legal, they all have massive presence in the public cloud like AWS, Azure or Google Cloud. But still, there is a lot of, uh, I would say, apprehension and anxiety for organizations to upload their data to fine-tune models like ChatGPT or even the open source like Hugging Face. And I am even seeing some of the anxiety among the organizations to upload their data to fine-tune models in AWS. So that is where if you are looking to deploy a large language model on-premise, then maybe this GigaML could be an option. GigaML claims to have their own large language model X1, which I will show you shortly. This X1, which is of 32K of context, can be deployed on-premises and your data will be fully private. Also, they have their own platform, which you can use for enterprises such as this. So you have to sign up and play around with it. Unfortunately, I don't have any credit. Um, and this is a bit surprising because I have just signed up and logged in. And even from the start, I don't have any credit. Or maybe I have already used it some time back, but I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, looks quite good, actually. So all you need to do is to generate the API keys and then if you want to do the fine tuning, which means that you take a base model and you fine tune its weights as per your own data, instead of doing rag and stuff, you can run your fine tuning jobs on GigaML easily. And all you would get is an endpoint which you can talk with. And here you can upload your files easily, whatever documents you have from your own internal repository. So this is how the console would look like, I believe, when you deploy your on-premises um, LLM. Now let's talk about this X1 large 32K model. So the idea behind this model is that this will be domain specific. So for example, you have um, the legal documents or you have medical documents or insurance or any other domain. You can fine tune this X1 large model as per your own data. And then soon they will also be releasing X1 large legal, X1 large medical and X1 large finance very soon. And I think they are also going to release X1 large code. Now, the, the idea behind this is uh, X1 large is that it is based on Llama 2 70 billion model. And then they continued its pre-training and, and then fine tuned it using positional interpolation to increase context lens from 4K to 32K. And this is really a good thing that its context lens is very, very generous. So after increasing the context length, the resulting X1 large 32K model performed significantly better than the Llama 2 70 billion base model. And also X1 large performs close to Claude 2 from Anthropic on benchmarks like Empty Bench with a score of 8.4 versus 8.1, which is a huge um, feat because Claude 2 is really a good model. Also, they are running various other benchmarks, which you can uh, go to this blog post and then check out this benchmarks on for GPT-4, X2 large and all that stuff. So you can see that Cloud 2 is 8.06, whereas their own model has performed X1 large 8.4. Still, it is way behind GPT-4. GPT-4 is still the leader. But the rest of the models like GPT-3.5 Turbo and Llama 2 70 billion chat is uh, very, very far behind. So. And then they have few other information around privacy and fine tuning, which you can read through and I'll drop the link in video's description. Now they also have this demo where you can talk with the default X1 large or even with X1 7 billion. Let's try to talk with this X1 large and in order to use this, you would need to sign up with your free account. So make sure that you have uh, the email address with you and then log in with that. Okay, let's ask it a few of the questions. Let me paste the question in the chat box. So I'm asking it, which one came first, egg or chicken? Let's see. Okay, so it's a very diplomatic answer. It says, so in a way the egg came first, but it would have been an egg from a very chicken-like bird. Okay, now let me ask it one more question. 
So I'm asking it to translate this ruins word in English. Okay, so it has translated very quickly. Um, GPT-4 gave me a different answer and which was close enough, but this one is still good. Now let me ask it a bit of a negative question to see if there are any guardrails. So I'm asking it how can I be the most unwanted person in any gathering. Now this is good. It is warning me that it is good to uh, approach this question with care and sensitivity. Everyone respect kindness and respect or so warnings, but then it is giving me the answer eventually. So far so good. And there you go. What a I really, really like this one. It says, if you're struggling with feelings of loneliness or isolation, it may be beneficial to seek support from friends. Okay, cool. Let's ask it, give me a list of essentials to bring when going camping. And then main thing is I want it to reason with it as why, if it is proposing tent, then why the tent? And you can see that it has perfectly uh, giving me the answer. Okay, I'll just say stop generating and let me ask it one more question here. So here I'm asking it three friends, Alice, Bob, Chris, chat at a bar. And then meanwhile, Bob wanting to play a prank on Alice, takes her cell phone from her purse and puts it in his bag. Alice comes back and want to check on her messages. So let's see the answer. Alice probably looks for her phone purse first. That's where she likely stored it before going to the restroom. If she doesn't find it there, she might then look around the areas. Eventually realizing it's not in any of these places, she might ask Bob and Chris if they have seen it. Amazing stuff. And let me ask it, should she, should Alice search Bob and Chris? Let's see what model says. Okay, this is amazing. So it is a very, very careful answer. So you can see it is quite a censored model and it knows what to respond in which scenario. And you can also sense that how intelligent the model is. Now, the performance of X1 large really looks good. Now. Um, really, I think it is also important to note that you can also import the data here by just clicking on this import data and talking with it. So uh, having said that, I would uh, um, unfortunately can't really show you the on-prem deployment because I don't have any credit, but I believe that all you can do is this stuff. You can fine tune, you can do inference, you can, because it is open API compatible. So it means that if you already have an application using uh, Lama index or anything like that, you can simply use your application with uh, this X1 with those integrations because it is compatible. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any question or if you're already using it, let me know your thoughts on it. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.